video, we will discuss how to manipulate your takeoffs. If you ever need to select a takeoff, you must come up in the top left and click on select first. If you don't, and you simply left click again, it will start a new measurement. You can always back up one point by right clicking and click undo, and that will remove the last point for you. Again, come up in the top left and click on select, and select your takeoff. If you're working on lengths or length segments, when you click on your takeoff, a yellow box will pop up that will show the lineal footage. You can also add check marks to each of your layers that you'd like to always be displayed. So when you move to a different layer, you'll always be able to see the ones that you had check marked. If you'd like all of your layers to be displayed at once, simply right click and click on display all layers. Now it is important to note that even though all layers are displayed, you cannot click on each one of these layers. You can only click on the layer that is currently highlighted in blue. For example, if I try to click on one of my count images, nothing happens. I can only click on my layer that I currently have highlighted. In order to select another layer, highlight that layer in blue. Click select if you haven't done so already. When you click on your takeoff, you can click and drag and you can move any point around. If you need to delete a takeoff entirely, you can press delete on your keyboard. The same rules apply for area measurements. Whatever layer that is currently highlighted in blue will be displayed. When you select that takeoff, the yellow box that will pop up will also show square footage and lineal footage measurements. As always, you can click and drag and you can move any point around if you need to adjust one. Again, if you like all your layers displayed at once, simply right click and click on display all layers. In the next video, we will discuss the property section.